what's up guys this is the brofman and i am here to bring you to the first episode of a brand new campaign and it will be portugal because portugal has won the faction vote so portugal i know there's a few people that really want me to play portugal so obviously you own the region of portugal with lisbon as its capital and you also have a territory here in goa i've got a bit of an idea of what i'm going to do um i'm going to see if we can crack on so hard hard as per usual because that's generally feels like quite a good balance kudos to the people that can play very hard very hard i find it irritating as hell um so good on you for being able to do it so we are portugal portugal owns lisbon and they own goa so one thing i'm going to do off the bat i'm afraid is give up goa because Goa is incredibly difficult to hold. Um, in in Darth Mod, fortifications cost 12,000 rather than I think it's about 4,000 in the base game. If you get if you could could get fortifications, that would be different, but we can't. And in general, oh, it's just not a good idea. You pour so much money into supporting a territory that only earns 291, and even then it won't be that because you'll constantly be getting raided. So, at the very least, for now, it makes more sense to trade it away for goodness. And what I want to do is see if I can use it to my advantage. So, right, ultimately, because Britain, Britain in the base, or does it? No, I think early late, it, uh, Darth Mod late, it owns Calcutta. But Britain has no territories in India. So, let us see, Great Britain... If you will buy go off of us, ooh, let's see if we can trade you for the Bahamas. That is an excellent outcome because this army has been teleported all the way back to Lisbon. So part of the reason why I was interested to do that isn't just for control over Nassau, because at the very least that's our first, that is our first uh, holding. I could have got money, I could have got trade, but fundamentally I could have got something for it, I suppose. Sugar and coffee. Sugar it is. But that gives us a foothold in the Americas. It gives us something we could potentially expand into and attack Antigua and Trinidad. Um, but mainly, well actually, you will be the head of a future colonial army. Uh, the, the thing on the horizon that we cannot forget is Spain, because Spain will try and kill you regardless. I mean, I can try and get trade with them for now. Okay. So I'll try and stay friendly with Spain for as long as is practically possible. But there will come a time where that is not achievable. So let's recruit some sloops to occupy our ports. In terms of my research, Evora, go on with plug bayonet, because I want to get on the military route hard. I think in India I've still got you men. Let's get you guys close, because if nothing else, it may cause... Britain and India to fight each other in future. So Lisbon, let's get the craft works. That's probably the fastest immediate source of money. Irish Brigade, guerrillas, Mikele, just like skirm with well, their light infantry. Irish Brigade are a line infantry units. So let's get one of them. Actually, I might hold off buying that and instead... We don't necessarily need, need troops now. Let's get a conservatory and upgrade it to an opera house. Increased happiness and increase town wealth per turn across the board. Oh, I could get a barracks next turn. But yeah, you've got to play this very careful because when Spain decides to kill you, Spain will kill you and also they will try and... Uh, wipe out your trade nodes so you men can trade on your node the pirates may come after you the east indies is clear and it's in the coast of brazil i would like to 
to attempt to try and trade be a, to be a bit more um, aggressive in trade. Well, well, a bit more aggressive in the naval, but naval domain than I ordinarily am, which means fundamentally more galleons down the line, which we can't do yet. And we have nothing to trade really, except for our new colonial holding, which will soon start in, start to provide some reasonable cash. I picked Nassau as the most likely area they will give up. So I, I, I thought they wouldn't give up Jamaica. Jamaica may have been their better choice, because at least Jamaica would provide a military governor's barracks for further expansion. But to be honest, at this stage, there's not a huge amount of difference between military governor's barracks and um, regular uh, civil buildings. It's not a huge difference. But my overall strategy is to cautiously expand in the Americas, expand my trade empire as much as is practical with my terrible neighbor skill, and see if we can... Ooh, they're going to go after us. That was flagship. Jebek, Jebek. So if it was you guys, you guys would do great. But this is me. Because my ship's just out outgun everything they've got to provide but it remains to be seen if this will oh god obviously the weather gauge is against us this can be great advertisement for all the new viewers on my channel so let me point out to you guys if there's one thing i'm really bad at and granted in life there's a lot of things i'm really bad at but if there's something i'm really bad at it's naval battles Ultimately, the wind was completely against me, so I'm kind of... Eh, just okay, form a line, see where they go, and then deploy as they come nearer. So I've got the Jebek Kraken with 28 guns, Burgundy Fox, the Jebek with 28 guns, and Misere, Misere, I presume that's how that's pronounced, 5th rate 48 guns. See, and I've got my... This gun's lost a gun. How? Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. How have you guys all lost one gun? But either way, my guys outgun theirs, even by crew. So I could theoretically do some boarding actions, but that might not necessarily be the best option. Not compared to just attacking them normally. And if we do take them, they will join our fleet. If we are aware that in hard mode, the AI gets a reasonable amount of bonuses in the naval sphere. So my galleon might be the first fire, but they will do very little damage. Keep sailing with all speed, keep engaging. You're ready to fire at Burgundy Fox. Keep my ships firing at will. No damage done to any of their... No guns destroyed. No crew killed. Keep them firing free for now. Until they get to the position of... Dom Huao the Sixth. Oh, I didn't change any of my ministers, but that should be okay. We haven't ended the turn yet. We're probably going to want to chain shot the fifth rate to slow them down. Just let them pound each other first. We can't really micro all of our engagements. Let's begin our pivot to prevent them from Crossing the T. Reload. That knocked a gun off of its mount. We may reach the point where we can actually gain the advantage. But actually, for now, I'm fairly content. You're, you will get into a better position for broadsiding in time. Keep 
keep bombarding. Kraken. You can keep on firing at will for now. Okay, I might have to temporarily... Keep sailing as usual. You man. Okay, hold sail. No! No! I've, off, I've clicked off the, my next monitor. Click my next monitor. Okay, I'm going to have to check the recording here and see... See how things look. I am, pro I am super professional. Super duper professional. Chainsaw. Chain shot and begin to pivot to engage the fifth race specifically. These two ships will be enough to deal with the Jebek. The Jebex. Right. Should just broadside them. Every time you tr every time I tr most of the time I try different types of shot. It never goes well. To be honest, though, you've laid alongside, so... You may cut their fleet in half. Keep sailing ahead at full steam. If you can get ahead of that Jebek, you're in a great position, but fear... You will not. Oh, that's not good. Hold sail, try pivot to rake. Broadside you at point blank range. Let's try to get away from that fifth rate. So we're going to take the Kraken. Very well, you take Burgundy Fox. You try and engage that fifth rate. It's a very risky strategy. So you've begun boarding actions. Potentially very risky there. We did a good amount of damage to our own ship. Good. So let's... Oh man, pivot. You were supposed to go after Burgundy Fox, but you were unable to. Engage the fifth rate. Chain shot's fine. My, my guns can fire on the targets as they feel. Hit along my ship there, I saw the damage. You may have to pivot. Actually, no, no, keep going. Burgundy Fox has lost a mast. Our men are losing the fight against the fifth rate. <laughs> they surrendered to each other. <laughs> so we win. <laughs> I love that. Oh, we, we surrender. No, you can't surrender. We surrender first. <laughs> nice. Let's send our captured ships back to the mainland. Ah, that fifth ray escaped. Oh, we did hit end turn. Oh, I was a goon. It's during the end turn phase or the pirates got to their shenanigans. I always forget the ministers. Always. Put some vineyards. Ministers, ministers, ministers. So my, my king's pretty pants. Plus one management, plus one navy, plus nothing, plus one management. Okay, so you're good for the navy. Well, I guess here's my navy guy. Plus one navy, plus one treasury. Okay, you, so you are three, becomes four, becomes f five for the navy. And you, three becomes four, becomes five, becomes six. You're ever so slightly better. The Treasury Minister, plus one Treasury, plus one. I, yeah, you're pretty good. Justice Minister, plus one Management, plus one Navy. Four star 
basic. Let's get you over to the Americas. My head of government, he's mostly a Navy guy. Four star basic. Plus one treasury, plus one management, plus one army. Oh, I remember. I can't actually, because I'm not an absolute monarchy, am I? Uh, government, government, government. Constitutional monarchy, damn it. So many times playing absolute monarchies, I can do what I like. Bit of a glitch here. Very well, my army minister. Boop. Yeah, you'll do. Good. Okay, so let's build a barracks. Recruit some militia and a cavalry unit. Actually, not, not the cavalry unit. Get cobbled roads. My agent can keep an eye on Madrid because we will need to take them out at some point. We do have Gibraltar to the south, but we don't want to worry about that yet. Excellent. Make port here in Nassau. Luis Carvalho. And you can build up your strength to attack Antigua and take Trinidad and Tobago to San Jose de Orona. Because then at least that means we will you know, free up. We'll be able to grow our trade empire just a little bit. Awesome. Let's hit N10. I'm going to go hard on researching. Uh, researching to get, basically get ring bayonet or socket bayonet. Which are the ones that eat the sooner bayonet. Square and canister. And then I'm going to want to go after Spain. So the way to do that is to attack New Spain. And by attacking New Spain, you call in Spain into the war as their protectorate, but you deliberately don't call in France. So that way, at least you only take out... You're only at war with one major European power. And also, if it goes well, it gives you some good colonies in Spain to invade. In, in the Americas, sorry, to invade. How's about that? That naval battle went pretty well. No, pirates... I hope they can't chase me. Good. You're not going to try it, are you? You're going to attack someone else. First order of business, that fleet here. Good, you're in. You can make safe harbour here. Crew another militia because I'm going to want to. Definitely going to want to uh, attack. Nassau's got basic roads. Build cobbled roads. Well, I suppose actually the fastest way to get tax income is to probably build another galleon. I mean, yeah, they're, they're just, they just haven't got as much hull strength as fifth rates. But yeah, let's boost my naval recruitment at the very least. And back here in Europe, let's build recruit an Irish brigade to get me some line infantry. Always going to want to keep expanding my recruitment in Lisbon because when Spain declares on us, and it is a when. Not an if. They will... <laughs> they, they'll come at us. But ideally I want to start the war on my own terms. I want to... Declare on New Spain. Because I don't want stuff like that to happen. Fortunately it hasn't happened. Yet. And ultimately we will have to take Madrid. Then take... Uh, then take Gibraltar. Push into... Italy, because Spain won't just give up. Uh, no way, Jose. I'm not giving you military access for only 950 gold. Uh, I'm going to see that the Marathas have already pushed up. <laughs> They've already pushed up the middle, middle of the Indian Peninsula. And I'll just be sandwiched between the Mughals and India and the Marathas. And then you just get bogged down in so much... Alliance broken between Prussia and Austria. Good. We've got plug bayonets. 
Oh, I need to get a barracks. Okay, research canister shot. Can I build a barracks in that time? I'm already building one. Awesome. 2,700. Let's build... One brig. Send out to the Americas and let's build... Oh, the Royal Observatory is better. Mm, fifth rate plus ships that's not bad but I'm going to deposit my agent off the coast because at least I can have one watching near Madrid and one watching near Gibraltar and then you men you men may hold in my port Get the last two Irish Brigade plus a skirmish unit. Good. So, pretty sure I can take one of my sloops over to Antigua, see what we're dealing with. See, they'll get a not terrible garrison. So I will want to build up this army just a little bit. African musketeers versus militia. The colonial militia are just better. You get fewer men, but you get a lot more ammunition, and they got higher defense. Buccaneers would also be good to rush some of the flanks, but for now, I'm content with my careful strategy. At the very least, I want to have canister shot, but ideally, well, ideally, I want canister shot and I don't even necessarily need square formation. Because they won't have very good cavalry yet. And I've, I will have reasonable cavalry. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a tricky one. But at least if we take Gibraltar later on, that provide that will provide a useful aha. Good old regular line. Excellent. I just want to keep an eye on Gibraltar just to make sure they're not actually recruiting good units. I am gonna try and am I gonna try and kill their general? Probably not. My galleon is ready. Let's get them to South America. Recruit another one. Hop over to here. I can't build any more troops. I should do, I suppose. 3,600. Is it because I built? Well, that will help. Two turns to a canister shot. Because ultimately I do have quite a significant garrison in Madrid to face off against. So I'm building up my army here a little slowly. One thing I'm definitely not going to do is assault Madrid. Uh, I am going to lay siege to it and force them to sally and fight me on the open field. I'm not going to assault in this state because I have no need to. There's no rush to secure the city. I mean, if they f de if they declare war on me, sooner rather than later that will cause problems. But attacking Spain gets us a second school as well. Which is really, really useful. Especially early game. You can be cranking up the philosophical technologies and gaining the that boost to town wealth right off the bat. Getting some of the early... Industry tax super valuable as well. To be honest, I'm not going to be far off of just attacking them. Okay, 1200. Don't spend anything there. Instead, spend it over one unit of militia. Better than none, I suppose. 
Yeah, Nassau isn't going to grow until realistically until we get some philosophical technologies to boost town growth or town wealth growth. Yep, they've got an army there. One unit of mounted Spanish bandits. Ultimately, I'm not that far off of just pushing, just attacking Spain. And they've got a small army near Madrid. But if you go for it, if you attack it and destroy it before sieging the city, you will <laughs> you do a significant amount of damage to them. Okay, I'm going to do it. This turn. We're going to declare on New Spain, call in the war with regular Spain. It might cause us to have Nassau pretty much permanently blockaded. <laughs> Ooh, you want to give me Kashmir? Ooh. No. I mean, that would give me immediate access to Gurkhas. Well, no, I might have to upgrade the territory a bit to get Gurkhas, but Gurkhas are lovely. No! Flee! This is gonna. This is not going to go well. I'm not going to fight it. I'm just going to... No! Blah, 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 blah. They're not going to have the movement to chase down all of my ships. Chasing down... Okay, they've been they've been narrowed down to one vessel. Not a bad outcome, actually. You men take your position. A profiteer. Nah, take... Take the trade post. My brig is ready to sail down here. Get another galleon built. Fleet destroyed. It's only one ship. That's fine. Fleet arrives. That's you, Dan. Actually, where's my... Get this brig... Is just Trinidad provide an easier target? Because Antigua is their capital. Significantly easier. Very well. First of all, you're going to raid Guadeloupe. Ooh, they've got some race built galleons in there. That went. Okay, I think if I move one sloop out. Yes, the army stays aboard these two ships. Why are you not just sailing into the port? They were about to make landfall. And that would cost me a turn. One militia unit. Demand the surrender of the territory. Well, I'm, that's going to be an auto-resolve, I'm afraid. Prepare the magistrate. Destroy the shipyard. Actually, I bet you guys can leave the territory, can't you? Minus four. No, you cannot. But a good chunk of that will be down to public order from the, uh, the capital. Not being complete yet. Nation destroyed Saxony. So Prussia's dealt with them. Evora. I increase in upkeep isn't great. But the squares are, are really good. But it's better to get it done sooner rather than later. New Spain. For, well, hold on. Let's hop to Europe. Get to the border. Recruit some irregulars just to provide some extra troops. So, New Spain. Protectorate of Spain. Declare war. Don't call my allies in to help. There we go. So now I'm just at war with Spain. You men cross the border. Don't assassinate them yet. Just infiltrate the city. Now they've spotted us. But yes, push, try and attack this army separately and destroy it and then attack the city. 
if they see if they go into the city yeah then we're just going to defend outside you're going to research squares so we took trinidad cool my fleet outside antigua is likely to be attacked by pirates because that's how pirates roll so they've gone into the capital not great not terrible We're going to raid their university en route to delay whatever technology they're researching. 30, oh, beautiful 13 colonies. Good work. Very good work. Ah, it's the new Spaniards that are going to take him out. Two fifth rates against one brig. Nope. Hey, my brig survived. Oh, they're going to chase them down. <laughs> they're still running. You can't even kill a simple brig. Venice is going to Venice. At least my cavalry can get up to the front pretty quick. Pirates are going to pirate. Two grand. That's still not not that's pretty good, actually. A sixth and a sloop could probably go after... Well, I can go after them with this and potentially get us another sixth right into the fleet. First of all, you men put Madrid under siege. That's not a... That's, that's a pretty spooky army, but if I deploy back, their mortars won't factor into the battle at all. Oh, I didn't raid their school like I said I would. Oh well. Two units of line. Get straight after them. Uh, let's take these ships down here. So I should try and snap up these little uh, victories like this. So the sixth rate I would try and bring into my fleet. The sloop will be sold to try and cover repairs. I'm getting drunk on my one naval victory. Close the distance if they want to close towards us. But yeah, Castilla, the sixth rate with 32 guns is what we're after. Sloop is just gravy. And ultimately I've got plenty of meaty ships. I suppose you can't increase sail because you're not facing... Okay, they've... Stolen a bit of a march on us. I'm going to get ahead of us, and, but we could. I suppose our ships are slower, so we may want to preemptively turn this way. Excellent. So they got their broadside off first. The galleons lost a gun, even though nothing shot at them yet. Maybe that's a broadside from my. There we go. Five men and one of your guns knocked off his carriage immediately. That's what it means to face off against the Spanish. Not the Spanish, Portuguese. You're the Spanish. Just let my fleet. Fire at will, effectively. Again, like last time, if it looks like they're going to get ahead of our fleet, keep the turn going. Eventually they will seek to close the distance, at which point we will cut them off. So anyway, I'm tying my sick rates to being at the back of the line to get my firepower up front first. Couple more Spanish casualties plus another gun. See their marines ready to to repel borders. Come on, 
it, it ever so slowly outpacing that broadside marker. So let's turn you again. Okay, I'm letting you guys just fire at will with that sloop of war. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, a good chunk of the broadside it did go behind, but that's okay. We are going to cut them off successfully. Actually, the sixth rates go your own way. Because you might make better time and by the beat of your own drum. could try grape shot because my guns are so much higher than theirs in theory you'd think grape shot would do some good work against a ship like that repel uh, no you guys sail aft with your broadsides, you guys try to chop them in half. There we go. Now this sloop of war is uh, is going to get raked. Careful with your broadside. Fire a bit early just to make sure I hit more towards the fore end of the ship. <laughs> so I stopped boarding to fire the broadside. Granted, it meant I let her go a little bit, but in the grand scheme, I think that was the right thing to do. So you're going to fire broads... Oh, hold on, if I can... Turn you. Okay, you chase down that ship. Oh, what a fast turn! Surrendered. Okay, everyone after that goddamn sloop of war. Damn right, we're going to continue. I want that sloop, it owes me money. Although, is, is, is it going to outrun my fleet? I've got a feeling it is. Because no one's... Okay, right, hold on. It should be sailing a lot faster than that because it's a sloop and like you are just is it because you're in the way i think she's going to escape because none of my ships are interested in attempting to sail at max speed to catch her although some of my second my sixes sixths have started to make some good pace. You chaps pivot so you can fire a broadside. Again, like the sail they've elected. They're full sails too mainstream for them. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the recording and bring you guys back when this is over because they probably will escape. So see you in a second. There we go. That sneaky Spanish ship managed to escape my clutches this time but we will bring castilla into the fleet could chase after them but we need to make our way Ooh, we definitely need to make our way back to port definitely 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 but still has a good win someone who's that marcolino pires i hope you're my either my justice or my 
My army minister just got that. Plus one treasury, plus one justice. He's plus one, so he's, he's five stars as justice minister. Okay, so let's do that. And let's get rid of you for Mr. Cardinal there. Good old Gil. Oh, you got something for all? Gil, have you? Cool. Two turns till we get. Square formation. How goes your strife here? Oh, no, sorry. I've only just captured you. No, I haven't. Zero. Good. New man, rebuild your strength. We'll get you back into Grand Bahama. Good. Oh, one thing I did not do. Policy's low. I always like to tax the nobility a little bit more. Good. So now Bahamas it was currently flat. Trinidad is still shrinking. Lisbon is growing better. Climate for reform is still pretty significant. But we've got another town here that's going to grow. Plus a town in Far Fa Faro. Faro. Good. Okay, let's hit N10. Taking Madrid will really help. As we're pushing south and taking Gibraltar. Ah, they're going to Sally. Bring it on. See, so I'm going to deploy way to the back so that their uh, mortar crews abandon the guns. That will even the odds significantly. And then it's just a case of mopping up their infantry with my infantry. And my, my one set of guns is going to be quite pivotal to this. And they will deploy in the center of my line. Ooh, what a lovely hill to deploy on. Irish Brigade on the right, which was spread out. Ooh, all my Irish Brigades on the right. Line Infantry on the left, which was spread out. See, that would be cool if they weren't at danger of shooting my guys in the back, which they most assuredly are in danger of doing that. Let's think of one militia on the right. Skirmishes on the right. My general's going to have to get involved. And I've got pikemen, which are a fantastic unit to have. I love pikemen. Spread my line out. My guns are engaging their guns first. No devastating damage there. The main thing is all these mortarmen. Abandon your guns, please. I'm hoping... There we go. Some of them have. There you go. They all have, because they have no targets. So my gunners... They're engaged in a bit of a conflict with this unit of demi cannons, but we've at least knocked out. Because we've knocked out some of their gunners, but it looks like they have the same intent as we have. So let's deploy some of my men. It's weird I'm not getting any huh apologies for that I have no idea how those are not turned on and in a way I'm actually quite surprised I didn't notice Yeah, they're more to get their mortar cruisers shouting at us now. So I've sent quite a significant portion of my army forward to make sure we try 
whatever we do, we do it fast. Just to sweep off this one unit of gunners and maybe make their cavalry clear off. To be honest, now their mortars. Well, no, I don't want to. I don't want to push too far away from my gun line. I know gun line is a very rich term for one unit of cannons. But one unit of cannons provides me. Make you men fall back at least. See, are they running back to them with guns because someone's in in range. No, want to play this KG. and nothing else they attacked me so if they're attempting to be silly what they're all they're doing is they're wasting their own time like if they decide attacking me isn't worthwhile they will lose the battle so do what you like My gun's just going to sit here picking off your infantry. Yeah, mortars, mortars, mortars. Yeah, I want to stay not too far away from my cannons, because at least I can do canister shot and dominate the centre. Yeah, they are. They're going back to recrew their guns. Interesting. Suddenly they're going to realise that they're just out of they're just as out of range now as they were previously. I wonder. Just charge this cavalry down to deal with that set of gunners that have come back. Chomp. My gunners just sit there making a hole in the wall, I suppose. See, now my mortars have... Their mortars have opened up against my cav. Where are you going? Oh, there's a mortar unit back here as well. <laughs> and now their gunners have abandoned their guns once more. But anticlimactic, but I kind of assumed the AI was, AI was going to do what they normally do. And try and attack us. It seems like they really don't want to. Okay, so I'm going to chop the recording here and bring you guys back when something interesting happens. So see you in a second, everyone. So here I was, happily canistering their gunners. And suddenly, they decide now's the time. So I get my cavalry. My cavalry deploy his reinforcements. My pikes deploy to the flank to try and deal with these militiamen and such. Switch to round shot with my guns and engage their infantry. My, my cavalry are best placed to respond to any sudden attacks. But my... It's my... Uh, pikemen that could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with enemy infantry. I wonder where they're going. Could they possibly be going for my light infantry? You're going to hold fire. My Mikele. Actually, no, just engage. Just shoot them. City Provincial Cavalry, you can't fight for nothing. 
There we go. My Irish are better than your Irish. Speaking of, actually, I didn't actually look. Green, <laughs> green, green trousers, red coats. Mine, mine are the same, but slightly different. Either way, they're slowly trundling up. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. Just because, for the most part, it's just enemy infantry marching to their doom. It's very nice of them to, you know, mass in the centre, right when my guns have the best coverage. And it means I can start to curl the flanks of my formation up. Let's bring my provincial cavalry out, because their general is ripe. Ripe for the plucking. I mean, my guns are getting a good amount of kills. What's that? It's about 30 kills there. There's another infantry unit over here that's lost about f another 30 men. So that's 60 infantry. Knocked out by the demi cannons, and it's going to be growing because they're marching towards the guns. Garrison militia are going to be within range of my irregulars. Engage, good sirs. They're in range of my militia too. Engage the citizenry with canister shot. Chase them away. Push up my cavalry ready. For the 8th, when they break, we can shatter them quite quickly then. If I charge them with my cavalry, I wonder if we can break them. Because if we do break them, these guys are all going to fire at will off. Well, they fire at will off now to prevent any fratricide. Gunners are advancing to my position. Okay, I'm not going to get bogged down in a cavalry battle with infantry around. You men fire at will again. This flank of troops advance. They're, oh, they're close. They're getting close. My infantry are going to open up. My gunners have got a, a unit of experience. These gunners switched to round shot, slam shots into their centre. Everyone else push up rapidly. We have a good opportunity here. Let us not squander it. General's bodyguards advancing, but they're not going to be scary. Pikes march up. All this infantry is going to mass their fire onto the 8th Regiment of Militia. It's cavalry unit and a unit of guns, so I don't care about that. My gunners keep bombarding. Ultimately, I want to chase away the 8th so I can unite my front lines. Nail the cavalry in.
Gunners bombard the center. Newman sees fire. Shattered, flee. Here we go. Let's see if I can get my skirmishes up the wall. Ah, oh, the general is attacking my... A, mil a militia unit. My militia will die hard, but I believe it will be in the best interests of my empire. More shells slamming into their infantry. Could give my guys the order to stick their little um, socket bayonets, not socket bayonets, plug bayonets, but it does jam up the barrel of their muskets. You want to come out and play? Excellent. So do is get these men above the wall on top of the walls, they can start capturing gatehouses. Uh, the general's gone. Get back and form up your line, get my gunners to provide some support, but ultimately the right flank has collapsed. Actually, pikemen, you get over here to cover the gate. See if you had more cavalry. We could really exploit this victory. Well, I potentially could exploit it better than I currently am doing, but my strategy is going to be slow and steady wins the race. Oh yeah, we took all the gates, so they're trapped. Cavalry's trapped inside. My pikemen will clear them out. There you go, my skirmishes though. Find a position on top of the walls to fire down on top of them. Ah, oh, you guys can't do anything down there, can you? Yeah, let's get my general involved. Now their cavalry's bottled up. There's not a huge amount they can do to resist me. Oh, this gate's open. Our wizard. Okay, you men equip your plug bayonets. It's because these three guys want to run into the fort. That's the 4th regiment routed. The 5th regiment is on their way out. Cavalry. Chased on their gunners. I'm taking a few losses, but not a catastrophic amount. Okay, we've got some. We can do some good work with our uh, with our infantry here. Excellent, so you've knocked out the gunners. Go, 
come over here and get some of this infantry with me. Cease fire my artillery. There you go, let's thin out that Spanish garrison somewhat. Militias have clashed, but we have significantly more militia to bring to bear. long till the seventh breaks but they are falling rapidly good stuff there we go let's do the mopping up After this unit, you men go after the Irish Brigade. Jobs are good in. You usually want to go after the well, you always want to go after the best units first. And in this case, it's just it's kind of a close call between line infantry. To be honest, let's get you both after the fifth. Everyone else is going to route anyway, and at least it's another... At least it's a proper line infantry unit to sort out. And they're spread out, so more cavalry is better. Keep on right-clicking, because every time... Well, it always feels like they path a bit better after a right-click like that. There you go, there's one unit over here who will be able to route successfully because there's a cluster of men up front. They will make it to the line. He's the fastest runners in the battalion. Damn right it was a decisive victory. Decisive enough to assault? Maybe not, but decisive enough. Ooh, we lost a lot of men. Hold the city. Ooh, you want an alliance, do you, Poland? I want to say no, because I don't want to get involved in any Eastern European shenanigans at this point. I am more than happy. They demand... Eh, ordinarily, I don't recommend giving this stuff away, but social contract's useful and the Mughals could do with a bit of help. At least for now. If they become a the massive empire that I have to kill later on, we will make it happen. Ooh, I forgot about my... No, wait, I, st that's, I haven't done anything with that sixth rate. They fled the pirates. Oh, it's a brig. There's an enemy ship really close. Let's see if we can hop into Guadeloupe and bottle up the pirates. No, they're in the way. Get to Puerto de España. So let's construct a trading port. My army is being replenished, so I really want to move you guys up. Good, that's a really good army. These two line infantry units defend Lisbon, or help defend Lisbon against whatever troops they're raising down here in Gibraltar. Okay, good. A brig, let's bolster one of my fleets. Good. How much are we doing? What are we doing for trade? 1,800. Not a huge amount. But I'll take it. Is there anyone we could trade with? Nope, sadly not. Um, but yeah, by taking out... By declaring war on New Spain, at the very least, opens up Santo Domingo, Havana, uh, Caracas is really a good target. It's a proper recruitment center in the Americas. Good. Let's hit end turn. You might have made it back to port. Spain is going to raid our trade, but that's okay. I want to recruit 
handful of units to push Gibraltar. So you can then also push across the Med into uh, Sardinia, Sicily. Sicily's a really good territory to hold. Quite a valuable country. But I really, once I take... If I can take Madrid and I can take Gibraltar, I'm happy in Europe. I feel safe. I feel content to expand the Americas and consolidate my empire in a more relaxed manner. Square formations researched. Go for physiocracy for the cash bonuses. Infantry, guerrillas. Because I will need to break away some of these troops to head south. Booster. Boost my recruitment. Hop over to the Americas. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be fine. It's probably going to be fine. Especially with canister shot. I'm quite risk averse. In a lot of ways, in life as well. You men get to Puerto de España. Attack Antigua. We're going to put them under siege as well for exactly the same reason as we've put uh, Madrid under siege. Good. Okay, let's hit N10. Do not like our Britons put an army aboard ship. Yeah, they're recruiting more men in Gibraltar. But the hope is, take Madrid, they're fairly chill with me, boost my recruitment, boost my army in Lisbon, push towards Gibraltar, knock Gibraltar out, then potentially try and seek peace with regular Spain. Peace, Make peace with regular Spain after such a significant loss, if they'll take it. And then focus on New Spain and the colonies. Ooh, don't say that the Ottomans are going to start causing problems now. That would be most unfortunate. The pirates may. Sally, again, Bahamas for Kashmir? No. I mean, you're unfriendly with me. I gave you technologies. How mean. Are you going to Sally, pirates? We are sieging your homeland. We are. Well, they are. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this very first episode. And I'll see you next time for potentially the deciding battle. Well, it will be the deciding battle against the pirates. But we will have to mop them up in future. So thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed.